Hey folks, welcome back to your Salmon River in Pulaski, New York. I'm Randy Jones with over 30 years of experience as a full-time professional fishing guide. In this complimentary video, I hope it'll help you to catch more fish. Folks, whether it's one, a temporary transitional resting spot, which is where the fish stops at temporarily while in a transitional mode while running the river, two, a prime transitional resting area, which is where the fish stops to rest midday, or three, a prime holding location, which is where the fish holds for an extended period of time, days, a month, and for steelhead and brown trout, all fall, winter, and into the spring, they all have one main and critically important thing in common. They're all current breaks. A current break is a structural change of water speed in the river. The number one determining factor in the length of time any fish will hold on these current breaks is the quality of the current break. Because all fish in the Salmon River use these current breaks to conserve energy and rest, then so should you when you're fishing up here. Let's expand on these current breaks a little further. Today's video is on prime transitional resting and holding current break areas that all species of fish use during the middle of the day while running up or down the Salmon River. These locations are normally bigger than a temporary transitional resting spot, but smaller than a large pool or bigger run or channel. They normally look like small pools, runs and channels, or big pockets. Typically, these areas are fished during the middle of the day once the fish are tired from running all morning and don't feel comfortable or safe to continue running the river. Usually, once the day's light hits the water, it will cause them to think about holding for the remainder of the day. This stoppage of fish normally occurs around 9.30 in the morning, goes all day, and then they leave these areas to continue their journey up the river around 5.30. If you're not finding any fish in these prime transitional resting and holding areas, then your next strategy would be to fish the prime holding locations, where they'll sit for an extended period of time. These locations will be covered more thoroughly in our next video, so check them out. Remember what I said earlier about the quality of the current break determines the length of time a fish will hold on it? These prime transitional resting and holding areas provide the fish with a better current break than the temporary transitional resting spots, where they'll only stop for a short period of time. Today's guide tip is to use the same strategy I do when guiding folks like yourself. Fish one of these prime transitional resting and holding areas all day. While the fish are in a transitional state in the morning, they'll stop and rest in these. Once the run has ended for the morning, then you'll have fish filtering in and stopping in your spot for the remainder of the day providing you with greater opportunity. Most anglers are normally in the pools and many times you can have these areas all to yourself. Other prime examples of resting current breaks that the fish will use while transitioning up the river are the head of the hole, the seams on either side of the main flow into the holes. That's where the fast water meets the slow water or what we call the frog water. Any big boulders or large rocks in the hole, the deepest part of the hole, the tail of the hole, the seam on the inside bend of the river, behind a shallow area that breaks the current, any big rocks or boulders that are in the deepest part of the river that the fish use to navigate it, a little four to six inch drop in the river's bottom, or also trees that have fallen into the river that are creating a seam. To simplify all this, the fish use all the current breaks in the river, but probably 90% of the river, they simply sw just swim through it and don't stop. These areas should be avoided like the plague. As Lou Tabory once said, there's a lot of empty water out there. The fun part about some of these current breaks is some are not visible to the naked eye and can only be found by spending a lot of time on the water, have an experienced friend show them to you, float over them in some type of watercraft, find them when you bump into them on your drift while you're fishing, walk around the river, or finally, hire a guide. I always enjoy explaining in great detail the current breaks and habitat on the river to all of my guests. In closing, what makes all current breaks so interesting and challenging to understand as an angler is, some current breaks are only used by the fish while in a transitional stage while running up or down the river, some for only a few seconds, minutes, to all day. Some current breaks are used for several days, an entire month, up to five or six months. Some current breaks are only used in the fall before the water temperature drops. 
Some current brakes are only used during the winter time after the water temperature has dropped. And finally, some current brakes are only used during the fall for salmon, November for brown trout, and spring for steelhead. So some current brakes are only used during certain stages of the fish's life. What's critically important also is some current brakes are only used during certain water flow levels. Low, medium, and high water changes the current brakes that the fish key in on and use. Our water levels are always changing and the fish change along with it and so should you. Folks, what makes an experienced steelhead or salmon angler on the Salmon River? One of the most critically important things to have is a complete and thorough understanding of all its current breaks and when and how the fish use them. This knowledge will definitely put you into the 10% of the anglers that catch 90% of the fish here on the Salmon River. Folks, I sincerely hope this video helps you to better understand these productive fishing current breaks on the Salmon River and helps you to catch more fish. May all your doorknobs smell of big salmon, steelhead, and brown trout. Thanks for stopping in, folks, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We have a lot more tutorials coming your way. Also, check out my superb Salmon River, New York fishing reports at yankeeangler.com. Your life, your sweet wife, will catch more fish than you.